Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got an exciting ROM to share with you guys. It's the MiU or the MiU iROM version 3.75 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. So I'm going to teach you guys how to install it on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. So first things first, you've obviously got to download the ROM itself. So don't worry about it. I'll be providing the links all in the video description below and on the official guide on Wired Mash. And you'll be downloading the ROM from the official website as it has the latest uh, version for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So once you download the ROM, um, the ROM is roughly about um, 341 megabytes in size. So obviously you have to connect your Samsung Galaxy S2. Make sure it's rooted, of course, uh, connected with the micro USB cable. And we're gonna copy and paste or transfer the ROM file. This is version 3.7.5, one of the latest versions. And we're gonna transfer it to our SD card. As you can see, it's already transferred there. It's 341 megabytes. So once that's done, we're going to disconnect the micro USB cable and we're going to boot into recovery mode. So as I said earlier on, we have to boot into recovery mode and that can easily be done by turning off your device and we're going to press the volume up, the home button and the power button all at once for 10 seconds or so until the screen flashes twice. So you have to make sure your phone is fully off and you'll be on your way. So it's fully off right now, so we have to press volume up, home button, and the power button all at once for 10 seconds. Continue holding until the screen flashes twice. So that's the first flash, and we're gonna get a second flash any moment. So once there, we have to do a wipe data factory reset and a wipe cache partition. We're doing this in order that so that there won't be any issues with the MiU ROM or the since it's coming since it's so, since it's a totally different uh, platform and firmware. So we'll do a wipe cache partition. Once that's done, we head over to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card, and head over to Mi the MiU ROM, and we're going to select yes to install. Give this a few minutes for it to install. It looks like the MiU ROM has finally installed and you don't need to install the G apps as it's included in the ROM itself. So right now we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset again just to make sure that everything will be running smoothly. And we're gonna do a wipe cache partition also. So everything is done, we're gonna reboot system now. And the Mi ROM, I believe, is actually based on the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, firmware. So it should be definitely a uh, little bit more stable compared to the AOSAP and the AOKP ROMs. But then again, I might be wrong, so if I'm wrong, please do correct me in the comments below. And as you can see, it's got the official Samsung boot screen. So give this roughly up to five to 10 minutes to boot up, especially it's its first boot. So I'll be back once it's done booting up. So it practically took roughly about two to three minutes to fully boot up during its first boot up and that's normal. So give it some time to boot up. So right now we're here at the setup screen, the start screen. And we're gonna select English. And we're gonna select next. We're gonna skip this step. And of course we don't have a SIM card right now, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna turn off the user experience, click next. Congratulations, start using your phone. And it's gonna load up the, um, the launcher. Again, this is based on Android and um, probably one of the best roams that I've come to fall in love with. And this is gonna be my first impressions. And as you can see, doesn't it remind you of iOS or the iPhone? So it's got the search area over here in the iPhone. And there's no apps menu as um, your applications are actually uh, found on the home screens. So this is just a quick preview of how the MiU or the MyUI ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. So if you've got any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. If you've got any ROM suggestions, 
any requests, feel free to post them also there. If you got any hesitations, you can ask me there also in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash. Don't forget to visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.